Hello friends, hope you all are safe and healthy in this pandemic situation and I am happy for the places where this pandemic has been eradicated. However, I am requesting others to stay at home. At the same time, I can't say this to all as there are many people like delivery persons, daily workers and doctors who all are risking their life every moment to secure and serve you. Their contributions are really appreciable. So my request is for those people who could able to work from home cause they can help controlling this pandemic situation being in home and all I can say that internet is playing a vital role during this situation that is from education to the professional who all are working from home they might get help from this informative video to boost up their wi-fi network where there is no signal yes this video is about extending or boosting your wi-fi signal for example your home is definitely having at least one router where main internet line is connected um, and i'm sure that you are experiencing weak or no wi-fi signal at some places in your home so to overcome the situation just you need to have one more router and without any wired connection the second router can take the signal from your base router and boost up the wi-fi signal it could be on the first floor garden or in the basement so what I mean to say, you can keep your secondary router wherever you want. So it will just acquire the signal from your primary router or the base router and it will boost up the signal at that particular location where you will place the secondary router. No wires will be required, just you need to turn on the router using an adapter which will be given to you with that particular router and further a bit of configuration will convert it into the range extender mode. However, I have already created a video in which I am using TP-Link router to boost up the GeoFi signal. At that time TP-Link routers are provided with WDS bridging facility which I have used for Wi-Fi boosting. But now in the latest series of TP-Link router, WDS bridging feature has been removed and I can say it has been modified with a new feature that is they have given the range extender mode in it. Yes, there are many modes in this router that is like router mode, access point mode, range extender mode and few more are there which I will let you know in the further video. So these modes are given only in TP-Link new series of router. Let's see how it could be configured. Before that I would like to tell you how to check your router name in case you don't know. If you are getting only one Wi-Fi signal then you can say that this signal is coming from your router and you can just connect to it. But what if you are having several routers in your area? You will get multiple signals on your computer screen and you have to identify your secondary router in which you have to connect. So to understand this, to understand, to get your router name, just you need to turn your router upside down and check it on the label which is provided on the bottom of that particular router. So you can see in my case, the name of this router is tp link underscore 67 c4 this is what we call ssid and once you will click on it and click on connect you will ask for a password which is already provided on the top of that ssid so you can enter that password and your router will be connected further you have to follow the steps what i am doing i will share my computer screen and you will see all those steps before that i would like to show this adapter which is provided with this router just you need to connect this adapter to uh, the router back side there is a port provided for power connection this is the only physical connection what you have to do after which your router will be turned on and leds will be glowing on the top of it so let's see how to configure it for range extender mode so this is my computer screen so i have already connected my router to the power socket and my router is turned on so as you could see the ssid is reflecting here so i am just clicking on connect as soon as i will click on connect once again i need to try that and here uh, i have to enter the password what i have shown you uh, previously so i am entering the same password from the back of the router 
and we have to wait until it is getting connected so on the top you can see the base router where i am having the internet connection so this is my root router you can see it is uh, having very less signal and my second router is still connecting so it is taking some time uh, uh, means for the new connection for the first time connection so here you need to enter the ip address 192.168.0.1 this is the default ip address for any tp link router or you can say any router and for tp link the url would be like http colon slash slash tp link wifi.net uh, this is the URL so both will open up the same page uh, so if you are having only one router at your home you can access it through URL as well but I will recommend you to access it via its IP address so uh, it will not leave you any confusion because IP address will every time it will be different so anyway this is the router home page and I will quickly go to the operation mode which is on the third number in the left hand side list so i will click here and you can see here it is uh, having different different modes over here uh, one is router mode one is uh, wps mode the, uh, another is access point and last is the range extender which i am going to configure for this router so i have selected it and clicked on ok and confirmed it so it is rebooting so once it will get rebooted, uh, so it will come into the range extender mode. You can see the list has been reduced. So this is now configured in range extender mode. It's not properly configured, but uh, the mode has been changed. So from the drop down list, you need to select your preferred country. So I'm selecting my own. You have to select your own depending upon the time zone and then next and here you can see uh, you can select your country name and further you need to put the ssid name from where you want to get the signal so in my case the ssid name is this one you can see it here but it's better to scan whether entering it manually because scanning will give you the complete data like MAC address and the SSID name and with the signal strength you will get the details over here. One thing you need to uh, take care for like the signal strength should be more than 55%. So if it is if it will be more than 55% then you are good to go with it and uh, here my signal is in 60s so I am just clicking on connect and all the details got filled up automatically and in the next step you need to provide the Wi-Fi password of your base router so that this secondary router could acquire the signal uh, and it will be boosted up for you and uh, I am putting the same name whatever my base router is having I mean the extended router SSID would be same would be having same name what my base router is having so whenever i will uh, be moving from uh, base router location to extended router location so i will never notice when it got switched because it is having the same name and the password is also same so you will never notice that it has been switched so you can see this old ssid will be vanished the tp link uh, uh, name this is extended uh, extended router old SSID it will be vanished in some times and the base router SSID you can see it is getting reflected with boosted signal you can see the old SSID the base router SSID is getting in the boosted signal now so our extended router is working here as a booster as a repeater for uh, for my base router so now what I will do, I have connected to my uh, extended router and if I am entering the IP address, the default IP address, I am getting the access of my base router. So 
now i will not get the access of my extended router since extended router is not having its own control now because base router is controlling everything base router has provided the random ip address to the extended router which you can see in the dhcp client list you can get the ip from this location and once you will enter that ip in url then you can able to get the access of extended router as well so you can see these two routers are different you can see the tab on the top uh, both are of different model number so this is the extended router and this is my base router so base router is having the default ip address that is 192.168.0.1 and my extended router will get uh, like different different ip every time depending upon the base router availability so here you can see the signal has been boosted and i am connected to the signal there is no any interrupt uh, so i am getting the full signal as you can see the full wave is coming previously it was having only one or two waves uh, as you have shown earlier in this video so what i will do uh, i will just do a quick test uh, for uh, the speed quickly i will go to the speedtest.net and let's click on go okay so here uh, what i can see my isp connection is not stable not that much stable i am having uh, a good connectivity a good connection speed but this time there is some disturbance in the connection due to which i am not getting the full bandwidth however if you are keeping uh, the base router and the extended router far away from each other i mean if you are not getting the signal uh, above 55 percent as i have shown you in uh, that place where you are scanning for the uh, wi-fi signals so that signal should be more than 55 percent then you will get the proper connectivity there will be no any drop in speed it will be like a, a drop of two or three mbps that's it but here i am getting the drop of uh, around 20 mbps so I have checked it previously in my base router it is 40 mbps around 40 mbps 30 to 40 mbps but here with the range extender router I am getting uh, only 20 mbps I mean around 20 mbps and this is also occurring due to my ISP connection because it is not stable at this moment uh, however uh, if you are having uh, definitely you might be having stable IP isp connection then you will not get this much drop in the speed so here uh, i will show you how to scan it once again you can fix the router you can change the router position i mean this dis di distance between two router could be adjusted seeing this uh, signal strength you can see the signal strength is good and ping is also good i can see it now ping is like four millisecond it's not bad ping but the speed is manipulated it has been reduced i guess due to unstable uh, internet connectivity from isp so it will not happen for you so uh, here i am having the bad connectivity right now so uh, you can see again the speed is around 20 mbps the download speed and upload speed is 21 mbps so this is how you can scan it and check the signal strength just ignore the barking of dogs so you can check the signal strength and accordingly you can adjust the distance between two router to get the better connectivity so that's it in this video friends uh, comments and recommendations are always welcome so this is how you could configure the latest series of tp-link router to the extender mode Feel free to comment below if you are having any doubts or if you want to ask something. So friends, if you feel this video is informative and it helped you, please share it with other people so that they will get help from it. And like this video, also subscribe my channel to get the latest updates. And yes, do press the bell icon to get quick notification whenever I'm uploading the video. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye bye.